Hi, so today I will be talking about my experience with visiting an online art museum. The museum that I visited is called Musée d'Orsay. It is an art museum located in Paris, France, and the exhibition that I attended is called From Station to the Renovated Musée d'Orsay. While going through the virtual tour, I came across two pieces of artwork that had caught my attention in which I will go more into detail for both. So the first artwork that I chose is Jean-Baptiste Carpeau's stone sculpture called Dance. It was made within the year 1865 to 1869. Its dimensions are 2,980 millimeters in width, 4,200 millimeters in height, and 1,450 millimeters in diameter. Its subject matter is figures, since the sculpture consists of nude human bodies, and its art movement is Baroque. As you can see, this sculpture consists of a group of women who are circling around a man holding a tambourine. To me, I think that the man is a symbol of the art of dance, and that the grins on the women's faces portrays the kind of joy that the art of dance brings to them. This sculpture, however, had brought controversy in the past due to it being something far more than a neoclassical sculpture, which is what it was supposed to be. And so, there was a time that a citizen got so upset that they threw a bottle of ink onto the sculpture, which caused the sculpture to be put away inside the building. Regardless of the kind of criticism that this sculpture receives, I still think that it is unique in its own way. The second artwork that I chose is Claude Monet's painting called Poppy Field. It was made in the year 1873 and its medium is oil painting on canvas. Its dimensions are 650 millimeters in width and 500 millimeters in height. Its subject matter is landscape and is in the style or art movement of Impressionism. I would just like to mention that the reason I chose to talk about this particular artwork is because it was made by Claude Monet and I learned about him during my fourth year in high school and he eventually became one of my favorite artists. I developed an interest in Impressionist paintings since then simply because I find them aesthetically pleasing. So for this particular artwork, The Poppy Field, it is almost as if I can see the image clearly even though it lacks details. And the reason it lacks details is because Impressionism paintings consist of short brush strokes and it's really just supposed to be a impression of what the artist envisions. And so here, I kind of see it um, like at a bigger picture, which is how I often see things. And although the colors seem a bit dull, it looks like a very natural scene. And here you can see people taking a walk through a field of poppies while the sunlight is being blocked from the clouds, which spreads a fair amount of light throughout the field. Overall, this painting just gives off a very calming vibe, and that is why I chose it. I would say that my experience in visiting this museum was very fun, and although it was only a virtual tour, I hope to see this museum in person one day and see all the different kinds of artworks that are displayed.